Hello guys, we are back with our next tutorials. In this set of series, we are going to start the fourth unit of data communication, guys. So this chapter consists basically of networking, guys. Basically, okay. So it consists of different types of networks, different topologies, and data about data link layer. What will be the issues in data link layer? What are the problems and how messages are passed about switching, about different different types of Ethernet's. and so on we'll be discussing about i think there are almost 20 tutorials in this series guys we'll be covering them okay so in this lecture let us go through types of networks so once we hear the word types of networks so first we need to learn what is a network right so now let us go through the definition of the network guys just give me a second okay so network a collection of computers or servers or main frames or network or net peripheral devices or any other devices connected to one another to allow sharing of data so this is nothing but network so in simple words in our language we can say that network is nothing but it is a connection between two computers or n computers or devices or networking peripheral devices or any other devices which are connected we will say them they are in a particular network so i hope everyone got a small idea on the word network So now let us go through types of network. Okay, so the there are totally three types of networks, guys. Guys, this topic is really basic, guys. Basic in data communication. If you if you go for any interview, he'll be asking about types of networks. He will be expecting an answer from you, right? Okay. So now let us go through. There are three types, guys. There are nothing but LAN, WAN, and MAN. Fine. So first, let us go through LAN. Okay. So the first thing you will be asking me is what is the full form of LAN? It is nothing but local area network. from the name we can say local local you will be saying what is local guys local is a particular small region right so that is the reason why this network will be used in a smaller area like your room like your house like your office like your small college if your college is a bit small you will be considering this as local area network so all these devices will be connected and you will be using the using them fine okay so let us go through the points so that we will be having a clear idea so it is also called as lan and it designed for small physical areas so it is designed for small local means small fine such as offices groups group of sorry group of buildings and factories so group of buildings might be your apartments group of apartments right in that way fine so lans are used widely as it is easy to design and troubleshoot so design it so using lan is really easy right so in your house you can do it in your home you can do it because it's really easy so i think if you have any idea on computers you you will be knowing this so if you if you have a computer in your house and you have another computer in your house and you want to transfer the data from here to here if it is almost 100 gb or 200 gb will you be using pen drive again and again that could be an issue right so copying deleting copying deleting copying that will be an issue so that is the reason why these two will be connected with a wire fine so that wire is also called as ethernet wire or lan wire so popularly they'll be calling it as lan wire so the, in that way we can establish a network in our house itself fine okay so we can use different types of topologies like star ring bus tree guys for now please remember the words guys in our future lectures we'll be going through the types of topologies also don't worry so if you ask me to draw a small diagram for it so it will be in this way so these are the three computers which are connected to these computers or these two computers are interconnected interconnected this is what we call it as a network so th they th those could be connected with the help of a bridge fine so here see if you observe this is a small path and here we are having multiple devices so this network we will be calling it as bus bus topology or bus network so this we are having a circle so that is the reason why we will be calling it as a ring topology fine or ring network so what are the advantages of this local area network so we will be having a private network and the speed of this is very high guys if you ask me what is the speed of your transfer rate of data it will be almost 60 to 70 mbps if you use a lan wire and if you copy from one device to another device okay so now let us go through metropolitan area network so they, basically this came in the year 1980 1980s around 1980s so basically metropolitan so you can say the word metropolitan somewhere you heard it right so it connects different different regions in a particular city 
so once we are going through the theory you will be understanding or once we are once we are near diagram you will be understanding it clearly guys don't worry okay so it is basically a bigger version of land so it is a type of land basically okay and it is called as man metropolitan area network and uses similar technologies such as land okay so it is designed to extend over entire city so if you let us consider the city hyderabad fine so in hyderabad if you are uh, if you are running a college let us assume your college name is something so let us assume your college name is x so you are having multiple branches in your locality fine so in this type you will be connecting all these devices to metropolitan area network so that these devices can share data among themselves okay so here we will be having both private and public companies so we so the best example for this is different uh, branches of colleges or companies okay so if you ask a small diagram for this we can draw it in this way guys so this is one local area network and this is one local area network so those are connected with the help of rotors okay so in our future lectures we'll be going through the rotors and everything so don't worry okay so the range of this man is 50 kilometers guys the range the two colleges or two companies should be in around 50 kilometers fine so here the data transfer will be using the optical fiber so i hope everyone got a clear idea on man so now let us go through wide area network so wide from the name we can say wide area so it is going to have its maximum extent fine okay so the let us go through the theory guys so long distances such as countries and states it can be either public or private fine and designing and maintenance is really complex guys basically we are saying wide area how can we connect the whole world or whole countries to each other is it a small task it's a really a complex task so that is the reason why designing and maintenance of it is really complex and the circuit will be in this way we will be connecting them over the internet fine so here we will be connecting sorry i forgot about this i think so so here we will be connecting with the local telephone exchange so because this is locally right so that is the reason why we will be connecting through some servers which are locally held whereas here they should be worldwide so worldwide what will be saying it is nothing but internet right fine so here this is a small example for that bus topology and ring topology we will be going through them don't worry fine so communication medium used are something like satellites public telephone networks so this could be the best examples guys okay so the major drawback of this it is it is really expensive and when you identify the security levels of this wide area network is really low when compared to the previous versions guys that is nothing but lan and man fine okay so this is the main reason that the hackers came into play and they are ruling the world so that's the reason fine so setting up of a new network is really expensive yeah we have discussed that i have just written the point again even one of the network can use the same data okay so everyone in the network can use the same data so i hope everyone got a clear idea on the three types of networks so in the next tutorial we will be going through the different types of connections guys so let us meet in the next tutorial thank you thanks for watching